Hey guys, how's it going? So it is time to look at the best class setup for the final pistol in the lineup, and that is our machine pistol. This little Spitfire do jig right here fires bullets off faster than you can take and blink your eyes. And I gotta say, I don't like this pistol much at all. It's actually one that was the hardest to get all the camo completions done in a timely manner. Uh, compared to the other pistols even when comparing it to the top break so you know keep that in mind if you're going for pistol camos you might actually want to take and start working on it first but all in all it's not you know it's not like uh, the worst gun in the game but as far as secondaries go you have a lot better options but we got diamond we got all of our pistols gold so we're going to be looking at two different setups in this video which is kind of different than the other ones uh, because with the other ones, the Akimbo class setups, I'm going to be showing those and showcasing those in their own separate standalone video. But with this one, we're going to be looking at the Akimbo class setup and just the standard single handgun setup. Because I think the Akimbo is for sure the best option with this pistol. But obviously, whenever you're working on camos, there's a lot of different camo groups where you'll benefit and you'll need to use just a singular pistol. Not just with the ones where you have to use the attachments that it tells you to. So look at the Akimbo setup. Obviously, for the proficiency, you got to have Akimbo equipped. You'll definitely want to be rocking fully loaded for your kit then going down for the pine tar grip mainly because we're trying to beef up our hip fire accuracy and the recoil control for what we uh, i mean you know what we can't but this thing right here still has just horrendous recoil um for the magazine that right there is not the one we want we want the nine millimeter 20 round mag attachment for the ammo type we want lengthen just to hit that much harder get the bullets there that much faster then with the trigger where we're doing a Kimbo, the lightweight trigger is what you're going to want to go with because, I mean, you know, you want your fire rate to be a little bit beefed up, but it's like with the barrel, we're not going to be throwing on the VDD 35 millimeter short. We're going to be sticking with the VDD 140 millimeter HE barrel, putting on the strife compensator just to help reduce the muzzle climb, help with the accuracy. And then if you want to go with the suppressor, feel free to throw on the M1929 silencer. Uh, I went ahead and put an optic on here, the slate reflector. You know, we're doing a Kimbo, so it's not like the optic really matters. So you can take that off if you don't want that on there and just rock with some iron sights. But there we go. That is the Kimbo setup. Now let's take a quick little peek at our single handgun setup. So for this, we got the steady trigger, that right there. Aim stability, it reduces the fire rate, which does not, it's not going to hurt you at all. It's going to help you quite more than you would imagine. And then we got the 9mm 20 round mag sticking with that lengthened ammo. Everything is actually the same except for the proficiency. We have tight grip, once again, to help with accuracy, fully loaded because you burn through bullets so goddamn fast this thing. You know, the compensator, the slate reflector. Once again, when it comes to optics, you can take and throw on one. If there's a different one that has a more preferable sight picture or reticle design for your taste, then, you know, by all means, go with that. But I really like the slate reflector. So there you go, guys. That is the two different class setups. I think I'm mainly just going to play around with the Akimbo setup in this video. So without further ado, let's take and hop into a match of what I believe is going to be shipment and just run and gun with this thing uh, the, to the best of our ability. And we got Dice House Domination. So this one, you know, there's a lot of medium and even a couple of long-range engagements. So we'll just have to take and try to play aggressive and, you know, move our way up into where we are within decent range. Either that I just hope people bum rush just like that. What in the actual titties? Did I just, did I just get sniped? Okay, three-line rifle. What can you do, bro? That's what I get for going down that one alleyway. And I'm sure that chick's going to just be staring down the line right there. Now push into here. There we go. Look at that. The reload time, I wish they had like some type of like sleight of hand or something because that would be extremely helpful. God dang it. I knew I, mm, I should not even attempt to be pushing these areas like that. But what can I say? We got to take and make a few bad decisions. Am I right? Yep, that's right. Oh, there's more than one. God dang, what is burning me? Bop. Push me. See, it, oh, that's the only problem with the Kimbo is you are, you're just so restricted to just being able to use the weapon, like, up close. Was that a rat? Jesus Christ, there's all little kinds of creepy crawlies running around up in here. Let's see, can we get... Okay, they see me for sure. Teammate, there we go. Look at that teamwork, dream work. My God, my teammates are just absolutely going in for Betty Jen right now. 
Don't even, don't even, I don't even know what to tell you there. That right there, packet loss or something, just kicked in, and where is, why can I not see my latency and everything? Okay, well, that's funky. So, no clue what the KD is right now. I don't expect a good KD. Like I said, I really do not enjoy using this machine pistol that much. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, while working with it, I had, you know, a handful of good matches here and there, but just overall, it's not a very, uh, it's not a very pleasant weapon to use in comparison to like you know the 1911 or the rat or any of those it's just it's just very inconsistent let's put it that way and like right now we're getting just sniped every two seconds which is extremely rare for this map i hardly ever run into anybody running a sniper on here boom look at that nice little two-piece we'll bring the kd back you know we just got to get warmed up it's early in the morning still getting the coffee into the respiratory blood system flipping strain there we go where, where are the bullets coming from let's get a little intelligence up in here oh and there we go what did i tell you we're bringing her back boys bringing her back got that one in the house if we could get a care package i well even if i get a care package on here you know we're not even gonna get to use it because okay i'm about to get shot in the back how am i alive jesus look at the luck on that one boys let's get that right there mortar barrage i better back up in here before my own thing destroys me okay and i'm gonna get sniped trying to rush in here Boom, there it is. Okay. Bop, there's that. Two kills away. We've only got 10 rounds and 11 rounds, respectively. So we got, like, one more kill in this gun. And didn't get it to finish it. Okay. Yep, let's take and pull out the SVT here. This thing, I've got it set up for, like, a one-shot kill. And I missed out on my, mm, on my score streak by, like, one. Um, yeah, I can't wait to show the SVT thing. I'm still, like, I'm halfway through it. I've still got to level it up, unlock some camos. But as I will show you right here, the setups that I've got with this thing, it, it smacks, bro. Let me tell you. Like, it's literally better than most of the snipers on here, considering that you do have a slight increase in your fire rate and magazine capacity. Peek at it again. God dang it. I'm over here trying to talk up this gun in this class setup, and then I can't even show you because nobody's going to step in front of me without me getting probably dicked down in the head by a sniper. Come here, buddy. There we go. Sharing is caring. Spread the love. Spread the bullets. Okay, yep. Let's just take and slippity slide. Up. Oh, getting shot. Getting shot. Teammate, what are you doing? I feel like, I mean, especially compared to, like, the last few, uh, you know, like, the other pistol videos and stuff and the performance we had in those games, like... If you go and look and check those out, this is probably going to seem very subpar in comparison. But, oh, teammate, whoa, hello there. Yep, no clue what just happened. I get that black bean juice running down my throat. <clears throat> get the heart of pumping. Okay, let's see right here. Guarantees there's going to be somebody just chilling over here at B waiting to play adult peekaboo. Oh, there's a lag spike. Gotta love it. Peek it. Uh, there it is, man. Like, I mean, you know, you can't hate on it too much. Let's take and switch over to the single uh, class setup here. And I'll just kind of give you an idea of, you know, how it feels to run and gun with it. Let's get that grenade over there. Where are you at, buddy? Get the Asian guy. So having the steady trigger has probably already noticed a big difference in the fire rate. Uh, then again, just whenever you have a Kimbo, it seems like the fire rate's boosted anyways just because uh, you're firing two handguns. So... With this, you're going to want to use a single, uh, you know, the single pistol setup in the event you're going for long range kills, uh, things like that. I found that the Kimbo worked a lot better for, you know, getting bloodthirsties and stuff. That right there, that's like you rarely ever get a two piece, even with the extended mag. Like whenever you have just like the single 10 round mag on here. Okay, I was about to say, I got a slug in this shotgun, buddy. I don't understand how you just took that 12 ounce, that 12 ounce, that 12 gauge slug that's got, actually, no, it's a 16 gauge. I've not unlocked the uh, the 12 gauge ammunition for that shotgun quite yet. I feel like once I unlock that, then that thing will be a lot better. Because I've had a lot of inconsistencies with it. In all honesty, come here. Where you at? Oh, boom! There it is. Look at that. I'm gonna call these in and like to, in like the middle of the map, just because if I don't, it seems that it always takes and just gets yeeted or yoinked right off of the uh, off the map. That is my own thing about to kill me. Let's back her up here. About to run out of uh, ammunition in that thing anyways. Please tell me that's not an enemy. No, you better not get my toy right. I swear to titties in a toaster. Let me tell you, they're going to over, go over here and get my flipping. Get out of here. Leave my things alone. These are my toys. 
God, okay. I, I guarantee they're gonna get something good too. I, I hate using the death machine. Come on. Somebody get froggy with me. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, baby. I'm just shooting people through the flipping walls. I guess we're not going to be able to get that, uh, oh, that care package. We'll probably switch her back to a Kimbo here in a minute just to see, uh, oh, okay. No, see, that's the other bad thing. Compared to the other handguns, like, wherever you can take and have, you know, like, uh, God, how many is it with the 1911? Like, 18 rounds? You can literally knock out five people with one magazine and then throw a new one in super quick. And with this one, just, like, the overall operations, like, the way that you, like, <clears throat> The way that you uh, cock or rack, how, I don't even know what you consider. Like, you, you set the charging handle on this thing. It, if you take and run the magazine completely empty, which you will be doing most of the time whenever you're trying to use it, uh, it's like the, the, the way that they take and charge the weapon, It uh, it's very common for, for, like, you know, if you hit sprint or something, that it will know, it won't register, and then you have to, like, reload the weapon again, so then you just get dick, you die, so... That's another little heads up tip trick or thing to be mindful of. Okay, let's go over here and where'd you go? And I stepped right into that. I, why? Why am I I'm just okay? That was a shotgun, but I felt like this map. I'm this match. I'm just getting destroyed by snipers. Oh, what we got? Okay, he just got bent. Oh, that, what did I tell you? I cannot get away from that three line rifle, bro. At least we're, we're doing decent, we're, you know, rocking with this handgun, and on top of that, we're going to be pulling out a fat dub. You got some good team players this go-round. Get out of here, son. Up close, it's hard to beat. I mean, up close, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be winning matches against shotguns and everything else most of the time just because of the fire rate on this thing. God dang, come here, buddy. Let me, uh, let me get another little rippity-tippity-tap on you. God, what? Jesus Christ, my noggin just went to Mars and never came back. Let's throw this over here into the middle of the mix. It seems like me and my teammates are really uh, laying it to it with the mortar barrage, which is one of the most, like, it's one of the best score streaks that, or kill streaks that you can get and that you can use in domination, but it's also extremely frustrating for anybody that is on the other team. Uh, and even a lot of times it's frustrating for people on your own team because it shakes the screen so bad. But, guy, we got another mortar barrage. They ain't going nowhere near that B flag, let me tell you. Call that in. Can't even do it because we already got something up in their mouth here. Boom. We should end up having a pretty solid KD this game, too. I don't know what my, what my one home dog on the team's doing, but... It's looking like it should be pretty solid. Boom. Look at that, baby. If we didn't have a 3.0 KD that game, I don't know what we had because that was uh, I felt towards the, at the beginning, you know, it was a little rough. But we we really did bring her back right there at the uh, at the tail end of things. Why is there a salt shaker in here? Oh, I do know. I was eating some beans earlier. It's what you do, boy. You flipping. Was that me? Was that my teammate? Anyways, let's see if we got a team a team a team MVP. Boom! Most explosive. I get that all the time just because of that mortar barrage thing. Which, you know, I'm not very proud of being, getting the most explosive kills. But, I guess there's worse stuff. It's better than, like, honorable mention or, like, team runner-up or any of those garbage rewards. Boom! And we all got MVPs, because we're all MVPs in the eyes of the COD gods. So, there you guys go. That is Machine Pistol Class set up for the Akimbo and Single. If you're working on it, you know, if you want to get your pistols, gold, diamond, whatever, I recommend... Starting with that one, because it's the suckiest one, in all honesty. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up button, subscribe if you want to share your friends. Check the links in the description from other channels. Sub to those as well. Hit me up in the comment section. And until the next one, adios.